What's this, you ask? Another uncomedic video? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, Australia is known for their wildlife, specifically the ones that want to kill you. You think that the most dangerous animal here would maybe be a croc, perhaps a shark, or a spider, or a snake, or maybe even a six foot tall bird that will try and disembowel you with their foot talons if you even breathe in its general vicinity. But no. No. So so wrong, young child, so so wrong. The most dangerous, soulless, murderous of them all, it's the magpie. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute and small that they could barely hum a fly. But you're wrong. Also, I don't know why I made you British. Its appearance is just a flesh prison it's chosen so that it can seem innocent while it stalks their prey. Which is everything in existence. If there's a tiny chance of you getting in the way of even one of them doing the sexiest with another of their species, then they'll either, one, peck your eyes out with no remorse while you question why you even came outside in the first place when you'd rather the safety and isolation of your own room, or two, murder you in cold blood while feasting on your entrails and giving your flesh to their newborn young. The demons typically decide to spawn from between July and November, to which, any other month, they're barely seen. My personal theory is that they descend back into the fiery pits of hell they came from. Although, when they are spotted, it's usually in a flop trying to murder a crow. A uh, murder of crows, if you will. I'm not kidding, by the way. It was brutal. They will flock together and try to kill any other bird there is, whether that be a willy wagtail or a bin chicken. What they use the carcasses for, I have no idea, and I don't want to know. Their violent tendencies only get worse when they birth their young. These feathered things will then attack for absolutely no reason with the same vigor as me when I meet someone new and then stalk their social media. Don't judge, I'm trying to find out if they're gonna murder me or not. Fortunately, or unfortunately, after suffering many years under the magpie's terror, us Aussies have developed defense mechanisms against these sadists. The most successful defense against these flying Dalmatian rats are the following. Walk fast, keep your head low. Turn yourself into a porcupine by tying Ziploc bags to your helmet. Wear a giant hat that will make you look like a twice divorced trophy wife. Wear sunnies to protect your perception spheres from a... Same. Wear sunnies to protect your perception spheres from obnoxious face needles. A mask is acceptable if you don't want your face to become a fleshy pincushion or if you just want to become Michael Myers. Basically, make yourself look like the complete and utter drongo you are. Personally, I don't have to really deal with these magpies since I don't go outside, but if you are one of those brave people, or if you're here visiting, then remember the defense mechanisms. Otherwise, once again, same. Otherwise, your cause of death on your future death certificate will be facial mutilation and dismemberment. Don't go outside.